Hey everybody, welcome to Classic Tacos. Uh, thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, what I wanted to do is give a little recap and a review, kind of discuss how it's been going for me since the S mode hack. So I did the S mode hack video about two weeks ago. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it right here. Um, gotten a lot of questions on either the forums, a lot of emails, and some people saying stuff on Facebook. So it kind of seemed like Maybe some people don't really know what S mode is. So just real quick, when you put the Tacoma into S mode, it's not really like a gear shifter. All you're letting it know is that this is the highest gear you want to be in. That's it. So you didn't create any different linkages. You're not manually throwing it into different gears. So all of the safeties that are in the transmission are still there. So none of that changed in the transmission. All we did was change the direction that the shifter needs to move. That's it. So say you're in S mode, you're driving to a red light, and you're in fourth gear. As you start slowing down, the transmission will downshift just like it normally does, just like any automatic. It just won't let you know. So the dash reading is always going to read the highest gear that it's going to go into. It won't let you know that it downshifted into you know third, second, and first just to slow down. Same thing on the other direction. Light turns green, you go. It's going to upshift all the way up into fourth gear. So all you're doing is controlling the highest gear that the transmission is going to be in. That's it. I got some a little bit of off-road clips I can throw in here for you so you can see it off-road. And then if you do want to do this, why I thought this was super important, why I wanted to do this follow-up is because I've been in contact with this company called Accessorize, and they created a harness that you don't have to pull any pins or change anything up in the truck. It's a, literally a plug-and-play harness. So check this out, guys. Plug and play. So if you want to do this, but you're like hesitant to remove clips and try to pop pins and get everything in right and get it all set up right, Plug and play, literally like 30 seconds to you. One in here, one in here, and you're done. It does the exact same thing that my entire video did in like a minute. Uh, this is extremely well made. This company has been around for like 15 years. They do a lot of work in the aftermarket harnesses. In the remote world too, like remote start, they do a lot of that. It's like it's rung together, it's hidden, the wires aren't loose. And then in the package that I got, I got a removal tool, which is nice. Nice little touch. Um, and you're gonna get a couple of uh, zip ties so that you can tie it all in there together and make it look factory. So I will put a link to the company. I'll put a link to my thread. Um, there's a couple people on the thread that I started for the S mode hack that have already uh, purchased this and used it. And they're saying it's working out great. Haven't had any issues come back yet. So in case you do wanna do this, but you feel hesitant, you gotta check out Accessorize, all right? Accessorize, awesome. So happy that they created this. If I had this, I would have so used it. But either way, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions for me, um, just you can either drop them on this video or you can put them into the thread. I will also put a link to uh, the S mode hack video in case you haven't seen that. So hope you're doing well. Stay safe out there.